Hey guys, it's Angie here. This is the, one of the most requested videos that I've gotten so far and I'm really excited to be shooting it today. Um, what I will be filming is what I eat in a day when I'm trying to lose fat. So I'm currently doing a short mini cut, which I've already been doing for about a week now. Um, I have a photo shoot coming up in two weeks time. And so um, I've just been wanting to lean out a little bit before my shoot. Um, I've actually been maintaining for quite a while and trying to focus a bit more on muscle building, which takes a different kind of diet. But um, so I thought this would be the perfect time to film what I eat in a day when I'm trying to lose a couple of kilos or a, little, a few centimeters before something like a shoot and so I'm gonna be taking you guys throughout the day with me and showing you exactly what I eat and explaining along the way why it is that I'm making the choices that I make and obviously sharing all of my meals with you so I'm excited for this guys um, let's go and get the day started I'm gonna start off with my morning coffee which I have before I'm um, working out I'm then gonna head to the gym um, and I'll take you guys along for the ride to gym um, and so how I usually start my day is I normally have a probiotic so this is just for general gut health I think even if you don't have stomach problems I think it's always good to take a probiotic so I just take one of these with some water and then um, I normally start my day with a cup of coffee I actually normally have um, Nespresso but um, I'm actually going to be heading to Santon today to get some more pods because they're actually finished. So I'm going to have to um, settle for good old Jacobs. And so I'm just going to have a black coffee. I actually do intermittent fasting when I am cutting. Um, the reason why I do intermittent fasting is because, to be honest, there's no magic in intermittent fasting. The only reason why I do it is because it helps you to cut calories every single day. So, um, for example, I do 12-8, which means that I only start eating at 12 o'clock and I eat then until 8 o'clock and, so, and then I then fast from 8 p.m. until 12 o'clock the next day. And so basically what this helps me um, do is I eat my food in a shorter time period, which means that I can eat a lot more food in a shorter time period versus it being really more spread out and you can then have more time to get pretty hungry in between meals. I have a pretty big appetite and so I do recommend intermittent fasting for people that have a big appetite. Number one, um, surprisingly enough, you would think that you would be like ravished by 12 o'clock, but it actually helps you to manage hunger um, and sort of control your hunger for the rest of the day. And so, um, yeah, once I start eating at 12, that's when I'll have my first meal, which I will show you guys. So I'm not gonna be heading to gym. I'm basically just gonna be having my coffee black. I do sometimes in the morning have an almond milk cappuccino, which I probably will today as well. So in terms of regular intermittent fasting, this would be an absolute no-no. You're supposed to have no calories. But because I'm only doing it to be able to manage calories, the research um, is not too conclusive on all of the other benefits like the growth hormone spikes. But anyway, so in terms, I'm doing it for calorie cutting. And so I'm um, having an almond milk cappuccino in the morning. It doesn't have any impact for me because I'm obviously still not having breakfast. And so I'm still saving a ton of calories. So um, I'm gonna start off, I'm basically just gonna put some hot water in the coffee, I'm gonna drink this down, and then I'm gonna be heading to gym. And then one other thing that I also have in the morning, um, I have posted a bit about this on Instagram, is my woman's hot, uh, hair, skin, and nails um, GNC hair vitamins. Well, it's like a hair, skin, and nails. It's basically just like a multivitamin. Um, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you and say that the only reason why I eat these is because they taste like sweets. Like, it's an added benefit that they help my hair, skin, and nails. But um, I'll show you what. It's kind of just like having a small sweet in the morning. And if, if I'm allowed to do that, it's kind of just like a small sweet. Um, I got these from Clicks. Um, my sister actually bought them first, and then I ate one of them at her house. And now I'm kind of addicted. And. I'll tell you a secret that sometimes I have more than one in a day, which I'm sure is not good. Cool guys, I'm gonna drink my coffee and then I'm going to head to the gym. I'm doing actually a 
cardio workout at the gym this morning. I'm on my way now. I'm feeling my coffee buzz kicking in. Um, and so I only do cardio actually once or twice a week, even when I'm doing a cut. I do, however, still try to maintain my 10,000 steps every day, regardless of whether I'm doing a cut or not. Um, so I will post up the little cardio workout that I'm going to be doing today. I normally do about 50 minutes of cardio. And then on my cardio days, I normally end off with some apps. So I'll try and film those exercises. I don't know anyone training with me today, but I'll try and prop my camera up and show you guys what I'm going to be doing. So I'm done my cardio session and I'm basically just trying to finish this water. It's about 750 mils and so I'm now going to head home and go and shower. So I am um, on my way to Santon with my trusty driver slash videographer slash BF. Peace. F. And so it is now around 10.30 and all I've had is my black coffee and I did manage to finish my water. So I've already had 750 mils of water. When you are doing intermittent fasting, if it is something that you'd like to try, so really important to stay hydrated, drinking a lot of fluids, whether that's coffee or tea or water, actually helps you to not get as hungry. And you'll actually find that after doing it for a little while, you actually don't even feel like breakfast anymore and you're not really that hungry in the morning. I kind of actually really enjoy it now and just the thought of breakfast kind of puts me off. Gelan actually does it with me too and he also loves it. Yeah. <laughs> He's a man of many words this morning. <laughs> uh, we are off to Santon. We actually need to grab a few things there and I also want to grab a few groceries from Checkers which is my new favorite shopping spot. Um, it's honestly like a quarter of the price of Woolworths. I'm all about saving those bucks too. So um, I'm going to grab a couple of things at Checkers. I also need to pop past Cotton On because um, I need to get some new bikinis and as well as some... What else can I need to get there? Mm -hmm. Oh, some active wear for my upcoming shoot. And so um, I'll also take a few clips of some of their new awesome stuff. They always have the most beautiful things and new stuff all the time. Um, and then I also need to pass, pop past my favorite shop of all time, Discam, because there are a few things that I need to get there as well. Um, and so I'll probably try and be home just after 12 because after 12 we get hangry. So we normally have our first meal at 12. Um, and so that's when I'll be making lunch. First stop, coffee. Currently got two almond milk cappuccinos, size large, with almond bread. I've just sat down to do a bit of work here at Exclusive Books. I like to change it up from where I work from. And I have my large almond milk cappuccino with almond breeze. I always make sure that they use almond breeze, which I really love about Seattle, as a lot of the coffee shops now have Milk Lab or um, some other almond milks that are a lot higher in calories. So almond breeze unsweetened, which is only 30 calories a cup. A lot of people that do intermittent fasting wouldn't have as many as 30 calories in the morning. They would basically have nothing but as I said I'm just doing it for calorie restriction and I find that the little almond cappuccino actually helps to keep hunger at bay as well so I'm now going to be doing some video editing I'm going to be doing some emails checking in with some um, coaching clients and then I'm going to head to checkers once I've done all of that to get some groceries for lunch Kind of peppers. 
Oh, these have it. I was actually looking for the Walden's Farm one, but they seem to be out of stock. You can get the Walden's Farm one online, and it's actually slightly less calories, if you can believe it. Less than five calories, I think. But this one is also a really good option. I'm actually going to be using this for what I make for lunch. I'm going to be doing a very delish stir fry. So I'm going to take this. And then something else that I wanted to show you um, was the, the sugar-free jelly which when you are doing a cut or when you are trying to lose fat we all know that we like something sweet every now and again and so this jelly is absolutely fab it's also crazy low calories so these are all they have a whole lot of different flavors over here um i like this simply delish brand i've tried quite a few of them and it's really quick to make basically just add boiling water and yeah the calories are 2.5 calories per serving definitely a winner you can make this in the morning and you can have this as an after dinner snack or you can have it basically any time of the day so i'm gonna take some of these as well with my sauce Summer, go short.
as a student student. We are home from Santon and so I'm starting lunch. We are pretty starving. It's almost one o'clock and we normally eat at like just after 12. So, but we had that and we just spent more time there than we thought. And so I'm actually gonna be making a chicken stir fry. And so Gillan is very kindly helping me just cut my chicken breasts up into strips, which I just got at Checkers. And then I'm gonna be using this crunchy chicken, uh, this crunchy stir fry mix that I also just got at Checkers. Um, I'm also gonna be using these no calorie noodles, which I'll show you in a sec. They're really great for adding some bulk to your meals with very little calories. So that is one of the big keys when it comes to eating for fat loss is eating high volume, low calorie foods, which means that you won't get hungry and you'll stay pretty full. And then I'm also gonna be using um, this Carb Smart sauce, which I got. Um, as well as my mushrooms. So I'm gonna start cooking this all up in the pan. There we go. Um, and I'll show you guys what it all looks like. I'm starting off with two nonstick pans here, which I have sprayed some olive oil spray and cook in each one. So I will be putting my mushrooms in here, which I'm also gonna be spicing up. I've actually got some pasta going here, which I'm making for Gilan, because I'm gonna have my no calorie noodles. Um, and so I'm actually doing them separately because um, when I weigh out my food, it's pretty difficult to estimate how much of chicken, how much of um, vegetables it would be if I hadn't mixed everything together. So I'm gonna be doing my chicken in one pan and I'm gonna be doing my veg in another pan. I'm going to be using my very trusty spices, which I got from Checkers. So this is the rustic garlic and herb. And then the other one is this aromatic roasted potatoes which I've also just been chucking on everything these days and then into the mix I'm gonna also add some onion flakes I would normally have garlic flakes as well but they actually just run out that I saw and Gillan's gonna be yeah, popping yeah. all my chicken into a heated up non-stick pan we had like about six breasts that came in our container so we're just gonna cook them all but I'll obviously weigh out the portion that I want. Onto my chicken, I'm gonna be adding just some, this is normal Himalayan salt. I'm also then gonna throw on some paprika and then I'll probably use my garlic and herb spice again. Very important guys, you must season your food and probably some pepper as well. So once my mushrooms were a little bit cooked, because um, I find that they sometimes otherwise stay a bit hard in the stir fry, I've now thrown in quite a, decent portion of the stir fry veggies and so I'm going to be cooking these up until they're soft and they have my chicken I actually swapped these around so that the heat was a little bit higher on these so I've thrown all my spices on and I'm just cooking these up. My veggies are pretty much done they're all nice and soft and my chicken is well in its way. I'm now going to add this carb smart barbecue sauce I'm going to add a decent helping um, as I said the calories are pretty great so I'm going to sauce this up because what's a stir fry without sauce and then I'm gonna heat up my no calorie noodles and I'm gonna put it all together. Cool so lunch is ready thank god I'm starving. Um, I have Gillan's pasta over here which I've cooked and I then have my no calorie noodles which I've basically just heated up in the microwave. Guys this does not taste like pasta I will be very honest with you but it is very low in calories and whatever you add it to it obviously absorbs the flavor of whatever that is. So hopefully we're gonna get that right with our um, veggie stir fry mix here, which I added our delish barbecue sauce to. So I'm gonna split this between G and I. Are you hungry, babe? Starving. How hungry are you? From Even one? more now that I've seen how good this looks. From one to 10. Okay. Mm. It looks beautiful. Move this out the way. Then I have I've always missed. Then, very important, I've got my trusty scale over here. When I am trying to lose fat, I measure everything to ensure that I'm as accurate as possible. The more accurate you are, the better the results will be that you can get, which is why I also like to cook a lot of meals at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and have 140 grams of chicken, just quite a decent portion. That's it, perfect. 
Um, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to just drizzle a little bit more of the sauce. No one likes dry food. Um, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and drizzle a little bit more of the barbecue sauce on the food. It's looking good. And um, that will be meal one for the day. Yummy. So the last bite always has to have a little bit of everything. This is the best, the best part, save for last. Mushrooms, chicken, sauce. And? Mm. So it's an angle of your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Pip. <laughs> How was it? Terrible. <laughs> so average. It looks like it was. <laughs> Amazing. I'm back in the kitchen. It's now around quarter to four and I'm actually gonna have my favorite meal, which is oats. I love oats so much. I know that everyone always has it for breakfast, but I have it any time of the day, whenever I can. I normally have it in the afternoon because I make it sort of sweet by adding different things. And it's kind of like a dessert for me. So I love my oats. It's also super filling. So with similar ingredients, you can make certain things like pancakes, but why I love oats is because the volume is just really high. Um, and so I'm gonna have 50 grams of oats, which I always weigh out because um, oats is pretty difficult to actually judge. And then I'm gonna add salt, which is NB when you're making oats. Otherwise, it sort of like just tastes very bland. I don't know, just a sprinkle of salt always helps. I then I'm gonna put some water in. So honestly, the more water you put in, the more voluminous your oats is gonna be. And because I like it with quite a bit of volume, I put in quite a decent amount of water. I've then got some strawberries here. Some people like to um, actually put the strawberries in afterwards, but I prefer them kind of cooked in. So I'm gonna probably put in about four, Strawberries, strawberries from Woolies. I love all of their marketing terms, they're the best. Hand picked, or what are the other ones? Babe? Sun kissed. Sun, Sun kissed. kissed mango. Mango. I'm not sure what that is. You can just double the price as soon as you put that marketing term on. I think I threw a stem in there by accident. So, what are you going to post these online as? Hand cut. Hand cut uh, strawberries. Hand cut strawberries. That's legit. Now, I'm gonna put in something you are not gonna expect. Ta da! So, we all know that in every single meal, if you're trying to get lean, you have to have protein, okay? So, I am gonna be having a protein shake later on tonight, which I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make like an ice cream protein thingamajig. So I don't like to have more than one protein shake a day, which is why I'm not doing a protein oats, which I also do sometimes do. So I'm going to be adding some liquid egg whites. You can obviously use normal eggs and just throw away the yolk. Egg white has all the protein and the yolk has all of the fat. So in one egg, it is 17 calories for the, the white and the rest, which is about just over 60 calories, because it's 80 calories for a full egg, is actually the yolk which means that you can have a lot of egg whites and get a lot of protein for very low calories. So I've got my measuring cup over here and I'm just gonna measure 100 mils, which I guess is probably around three egg whites. Just sometimes put it down. I think that's about three. And because egg white basically has no flavor, you can kind of add it to anything and it kind of gets disguised in your oats. So I actually mix it up because you don't want kind of lumps of egg white. And then while, I, my, while my oats are cooking, I will actually open the microwave once or twice and um, 
just give it a stir around so it's all mixed in really well. And also what I did want to show you is it is just instant oats. As I mentioned in some of my previous videos, it really doesn't matter whether it's instant as long as it's the ones that don't have all the added sugar and other stuff. So always be sure to just look at the calories and they're pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna cook this up in the microwave and then I'm gonna show you all the yummy things that I add. My oats is done out of the microwave. I think I've probably cooked it for about five, four and a half minutes. So as you can see, it's kind of creamy because my egg whites are cooked in and my strawberries are nice and soft. And now it's all about what you put in, folks. So I'm starting off with some Candorelle sweetener. This is the sucralose one, which apparently is better than the other one. However, the facts are that sweetener does not cause cancer, people. That, what, that was research backed by the sugar companies, and so it's a myth. So let's stop repeating that one. Now I'm going to add my favorite ingredient of all time, cinnamon. I honestly cannot get enough cinnamon. I buy these big bags. And um, here's another fact about cinnamon. There is a good cinnamon and there's a bad cinnamon. So the normal cinnamon that you just get in any old shop. Cassia. Is, cassia cinnamon is, thank you babes, um, is not good. Especially if you have as much as I do. It actually damages your liver. So very important, you must get the Ceylon cinnamon. Right? Is that what it's called? I mean, it's not a steak. It's Ceylon. Ceylon. It's not Ceylon. Uh, <laughs> Ceylon. Ceylon. Ceylon, peeps. So I actually got this from a health store in Santon. I, I haven't yet figured out whether the Woody's one is the good or bad one, but just in case, it doesn't say Ceylon, which means they probably would have if it was the good one. So um, I'm gonna add probably more than most people would of cinnamon. Cinnamon's about another ingredient that I really love. And so if you get it in the shops, this is probably what it's gonna look like because I got like, the size, which is basically for people that are baking many goods, um, because I was just going through these so quickly. So this is the tantalized um, flavored syrup in vanilla custard, which tastes pretty much makes anything taste like custard, which is amazing. Your oats is really big. Um, and it's got no sugar added, and the calories are amazing. Like for a teaspoon of this, I mean, it's not even one calorie, basically. So I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of this to my oats. Try to get a hair in there. Ooh. It's actually pretty, pretty nice that you can add it as well to things like yogurt, or I actually sometimes also put it in my protein shake. So a new thing that I've been doing is I've been buying a vanilla protein shake and because I have one every day, you kind of get bored of the same flavors. So I then add things to that shake to make it taste different. Okay, so that's all mixed in. And then one last final thing, which you can never forget in a good bowl of oats, peanut butter. My favorite peanut butter is actually yum yum. I know, it's very, um, what do you call it? What do you call it when you're like, oh, uncultured? It's like people that drink red coffee. Like I used to love red coffee, but it's all chicory, like it's not good coffee. And I think Yum Yum is probably in the same league. But anyway, I just have black cat now. Um, and I use the one with sugar and salt. I feel like the other one just tastes bad and the calories are the same. So um, I don't really care. And here's a quick tip on how to measure peanut butter because you know that I need to measure everything. The more accurate you are when you're trying to lose fat, the better. So you actually measure the spoon. And so I'm gonna be having 15 grams of peanut butter. And so I'm getting pretty good at estimating. So it should be 50. Okay, 51. And then I'm gonna add that in. And I kind of always put it like in the middle and then kind of melts melty melty into my oats and there you have it folks that is my delicious giant bowl of like desserty oats which i'm now gonna have this afternoon if i do feel like something sweet in the afternoon i love this cranberry apple and cinnamon tea um and i have that with a bit of 
sweetener as well. Cool guys, I am back in the kitchen. It is now around seven o'clock, so I'm about to make dinner. Tonight I'm actually gonna be making some stuffed peppers. This is something that I like to make quite often. Um, I'm gonna be using my collie rice, which I got today, as well as some extra lean beef mince, which I'm gonna be cooking with this tomato and onion mix to make it nice and saucy. Um, I'm then gonna be cooking these peppers. I'll be taking the seeds out, I'm cooking them in the microwave just so that they get nice and tender and then I'm going to be stuffing these little babies and then popping them into the air fryer to get nice and crispy and I will be topping them off with a little bit of feta. So let me show you how it's done. So I've got my extra lean beef mince here. You can also use ostrich if you like. Um, guys, you really don't need anything more than extra lean. So just the normal lean mince is actually still very fatty. Um, I've got my non-stick pan here. You actually don't need to put anything in the pan because it really doesn't stick. I've actually got some rice that I'm doing for Gilan. Um, so I'm giving him some more calories um, because I'm going to be having my collie rice. So I've got this on the heat now and I'm just going to start browning um, my ostrich, my not ostrich, it's a cow, <laughs> my mince. While my mince is on, I'm going to prepare my peppers. So you basically just want to cut the top off of them as neatly as possible. Well, that doesn't actually have to be that neat. You basically just need to get it the hell out of there. And then normally you can kind of just break the stem off and you want to hollow them out a little bit. So normally these pieces are quite bitter inside. Um, I got quite a few peppers and so I've chosen the ones that actually sit nicely because when we put them up, we obviously want them to stand out. I'm going to be putting in about two thirds of the tin. The mince is done. My peppers are out of the microwave and I have heated up just in the microwave my collie rice, which that's pretty much all it takes to cook. You just put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to weigh out um, the amount of mince that I'm having. I'm doing this specifically so that you guys can see um, that everything does need to be tracked and measured for it to be as accurate as possible. So I'm gonna have 200 grams of mince. Oops, okay, it's just over. I'll live. <laughs> okay, now I just wanna show you how I kind of put these little babies together. Um, so I've given Galen and I each a, a green one and a, what color is that? <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> a a spoon and you can kind of do this however you like I guess you could also just mix the collie rice with your mince and then just stuff it in like that or you could just do layers um, it's kind of up to you on how you want to do it I think this green one's probably gonna be the big daddy because it's the bigger one and I have also um, spiced this cauliflower rice, because otherwise it doesn't have all that much flavor. Um, let me see if I can get another layer in here. And then I'm going to do the same for Gilan, but I'm going to use rice instead of curry rice so he gets some more calories. So it's not that I don't eat carbs, um, as you saw today I actually do but it's more about just saving calories and actually being able to have more for less. Not the mess, I'm not the cleanest um, cook here. I'm gonna use some fat-free feta, which I'm just gonna crumble a little bit on top. It's nice and low in calories. And for 30 grams, it's about 20 calories, which is amazing. So I'm gonna crumple, uh, dig it in, crumble a little bit of feta on the top. I'm gonna pop it in my air fryer for about five minutes just so that the feta gets nice and melted on top. And then I will serve it and show you guys what it looks like. 
Cool guys, so that brings me to the end of my what I eat in a day video and I'm ending off with these sweet little stuffed peppers. Um, and I'm actually really excited for these because I'm pretty hungry now. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed going through what I eat for fat loss and how I kind of plan my meals. Number one, ensuring that I eat high volume foods. Number two, I always include protein in my meals. And of course, I know what my calorie budget is, not only for the day, but for each meal as well. I will be ending off tonight with a little dessert, which I will definitely show you in a bit how I make. Um, but just to end of this video while I still look decent because I'm about to go and wash my face, put some cute pajamas on and get cozy by some Netflix. Um, so if you need help on figuring out what it is that you should be eating for fat loss, then I am your girl. Um, please click on the link in this video. And before I forget, I actually created a download for you guys, which maps out exactly what this, um, what every single meal looked like that I ate today and gave you some quick recipes so that you can try them too. Otherwise, catch me on my next vlog. I am ending off the night with a little something sweet so I wanted to show you guys how I make my protein dessert so I take some ice blocks I think it's around six or eight um, ice blocks and then we put some water in here um, I'm then gonna use I've been trying this NPL vanilla ice cream flavor to be honest it doesn't taste like much which suits me because I add different things to my protein shakes now that um, actually make it taste better. So I'm gonna do three scoops of that, which is the serving size. I then have another flavor of this tantalized syrup that I really enjoy. It's toffee flavor. This is also five kilojoules, so it's like one calorie per teaspoon. So I'm gonna pour a little smidgen of this in to add some flavor and then I'm gonna add some cinnamon my favorite thing and then I wanted to tell you guys about this it's called I can't actually pronounce it gargum um, you also get another one called Zanum gum and so if you add a teaspoon of this to any liquid it actually becomes really thick but I found when I do do this shake and I don't add too much water I can actually get away with not using this at all but if you find like your shakes are a bit runny you can actually add a teaspoon of this and it will make it nice and almost um, like more like ice cream more like a foamy moussey ice cream um, I actually just got a new Nutribullet, I'm very excited. My other one gave up the ghost, but I have been using it every day. So tighten that nicely. Okay, so sometimes I um, just eat it straight out of here. But I will put it in a bowl for you guys to show you how beautiful it is. Almost like a big bowl of ice cream. And this is all basically protein. Um, and we obviously want to get in as much protein as possible. And then I'm going to be doing a little, make it look pretty. Voila! Mm.